Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about some new news in regards to a major character returning in the finale and also the penultimate episode. Also remember The Flash comes back tonight so please be on the lookout for my video. It's going to come out right after the episode finishes. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we have two articles to go over in this video. One is from TV Line, the link will be in the description below. And also, same goes for the EW article, which we're going to be going over first, which confirms a major returning character that we've known about. However, they've given us some more information, which is very crucial, and we gotta break it down. But for now, click here, top right corner of the screen, if you wanna watch my latest video, you can check it out afterwards, or you can watch it right now and come back to this video. But let's go ahead and get into this EW article. So this is how it goes. EW has learned that Jessica Parker Kennedy is returning to The Flash for multiple episodes, including the superhero drama's 150th installment. That means Kennedy, who played Barry and Iris' daughter from the future, Nora, aka XS, will cross paths with her super brother from the future, Bart Allen, played by Jordan Fisher, who will also appear in that milestone hour so the 150th episode, and they go on to say, as of right now though, there are no other details about Kennedy's return. So, yes, we've heard about this for a while, that XS would be coming back, aka Nora. Obviously, we were first introduced to her in Season 4. She played a huge part in Season 5, where she actually, at the end of the season, died or got erased from the timeline, and we haven't seen her since. So, there was lots of speculation over the last couple of years that at some point we would see them again. It's pretty common that a lot of past actors will return to the shows, so I think it was only a matter of time. However, she's coming back for the 150th episode. Why is that significant? Because they always celebrate these big milestone episodes. So the 100th episode of The Flash was huge. You had the return of Savitar, Reverse Flash, Zoom. They even had Teddy Sears come in to do more of that. Also, Tom Cavanaugh as well. And with Arrow's 150th episode, they made a big deal out of it as well. They did this whole big documentary style episode recapping on what's happened in the past and basically giving a more intimate insight into the characters and their dynamics on the show as they had like a documentary crew going around and filming them. Also, you had like Barry crossing over in it. So there's been lots of speculation going around about how they will make this episode special. Well, it seems like it's going to be a Flash family heavy episode, and we haven't had one of those episodes in a long time. Normally, we have like a speedster come in every once in a while. However, we are getting all the speedsters, obviously excluding Wally West. That's because Keenan Lonsdale is busy with his other projects right now. However, they're introducing a brand new character, that being Bart Allen, who is going to be not the grandson of Barry and Iris from the future, but he's actually the son of Barry and Iris from the future, so aka he's going to be siblings with Nora and he's going to be showing up for the first time and Jordan Fisher earlier this week teased us about him teaming up with the rest of them and I'm guessing that's why they've officially confirmed via EW like officially that Nora is coming back because that was confirmed and we knew about Jay before. But yeah, Jordan Fisher, he is in Vancouver currently right now along with Jessica Parker Kennedy and they are actually filming as of right now, or like in the next few days, I don't know the specifics. However, we should be on the lookout for some behind the scenes photos very soon. Hopefully we'll get an insight and a glimpse into Bart Allen and his superhero suit. But the big point of interest in this article is this. So Jessica Parker Kennedy is returning for the penultimate episode, aka episode 17 of this season, because episode 18 is the finale. And she's not only returning for that 150th episode, but they specifically write for multiple episodes, so that is something that we didn't know, and that is new information that EW has confirmed, that Nora is going to be showing up in more than just the 150th episode, she's going to be in multiple episodes. So now, when you think of this, you're like, okay, she's going to be in multiple episodes, where does it make sense? Well, she's in episode 17, Jessica Parker Kennedy just got out of quarantine, so there was no way that she was in episode 16, so if it's multiple episodes, that means it has to be the episode after, that being episode 18, aka the finale for season 7. So that meaning she's going to be showing up in the final two episodes of the season, so that's super exciting. And I think along with this, this pretty much confirms that Bart Allen is also going to be in the finale. 
I mean, it does really make sense considering that they've got the actors, they've made them quarantine and they have them around. So why not use them for your penultimate episode and also your finale episode? That's similar to what they did with Wynn last year on Supergirl. They had him around for a bit, so they were like, okay, come back for three episodes rather than one episode. So the reason I say the finale is, number one, obviously they quarantined recently and they just got out, so there's no way on earth that they could have secretly filmed episode 16. But number two, there is a possibility that instead of showing up in that final episode, they show up in season eight. Obviously there's a possibility that they show up in 17 and 18, but also show up in season eight at the start. That's very likely. I would say it's a bit less likely that Nora is gonna be sticking around. I just have a gut feeling about that. And I think that it's more likely that Jordan Fisher is going to return and he's going to be the future sibling that sticks around. And that's mainly because he's a new hero. I don't think they wanna get rid of Bart Allen if they're introducing him. They obviously have plans for him. He's only going to be introduced in this one or two episodes this season, so why not bring him back next season and continue that storyline if they really like it? And so far, so good. Seems like he's having a good time up there, and I'm sure they're really liking him. And Bart Allen is a huge fan favorite from the comics, so I think they're going to want to make the most out of him. And on the Nora side, yes, it would be great if Nora continued into Season 8, and there's obviously a chance... However, I think it's more likely that she just comes back for like two episodes at the end of this season and then she goes back, back to the future, something like that. I don't know where she's come from because number one, this normal version of Nora got erased from the timeline. So does she exist? Or number two, is she a different version of Nora? So could that be going on? Maybe that is some sort of twist that has happened and also because of Crisis, I would be inclined to say that they are probably the Tornado Twins. And it's very likely that they've time traveled back together to the present day to stop Godspeed or whatever the main villain is. However, it's very likely that it's Godspeed because there was those set photos the other day. We had like six or seven versions of Godspeed and that was towards the end of the season. So they were filming just like the episode before. So from that, we can assume that Godspeed is going to be the main villain in the back half, and Godspeed normally can be related to time travel, and this is going to be a big moment in Barry's life. So it seems likely that they've come back for that specific reason, and so it makes sense that they've time traveled back together, and they are probably twins from the future, and they are the Tornado Twins as they're known as in the comics, and this is a change due to Crisis, because before then, Nora was the only version, and even before that first timeline change, if you guys remember, Reverse Flash referred to Nora as Dawn, or like a lost version of her. So again, it seems like it's a possibility that Nora is completely different from the person that we know. However, she is keeping the name because EW did use the name. So without further ado, let's go on to the next thing. And so we're going to talk about tonight's episode. So this is coming out later. This is a little sneak peek. Danielle Panabaker did an interview with TV Line. And she is teasing what's going to happen in this episode, but also what happens later in the season. And so apparently there's going to be a big turn of events because Caitlyn and Killer Frost, their roles are reversed. Caitlyn becomes more emotional and more irrational, aka kind of what we've seen with Frost in the past. You know, the way that she interacts and sort of reacts to things is very different from the way Caitlyn does. And if you remember a couple of episodes back, like when Caitlyn got arrested and Frost was about to blast her way out of there, that was irrational, you know, that wasn't thinking straight. And it seems like, according to Danielle, Caitlyn is going to be more along those lines. Okay, so let's continue with this. So some people will vouch for her at the trial, that being Frost, of course. However, we're not sure who is going to stand up. I don't think the Flash is. I would say it's kind of unlikely if she is being put up for a criminal charge. However, obviously I think Caitlyn is gonna stand up. Let's continue with this. So the story isn't going to have a happy ending that people think it will have. And so from what Danielle has said here, I do believe it's very likely that Caitlyn does get charged and she's sent to prison and that's where she meets John Cor's character again, Chillblain, who we saw in the last episode where she met him in the bar, they had that fight and everything, and he was the one to set her up. And if you guys remember in that episode, he actually got sent to prison as well. So I reckon they're gonna meet up again there and she's gonna be in prison for the rest of this season. And so let's move on to the next thing. So this is not to do with tonight's episode. However, 
there was a question brought up to do with the speed force and all the different forces and is there something else going on here and Danielle's reply was something along the lines of she's very excited to see how that ends and with her saying that it means it will be ending obviously we knew that however it does give us some confirmation that sometime soon we're going to get the answers to what's happening with the speed force is there something greater happening and also we're going to be exploring more of the forces we know in tonight's episode we're going to be seeing the human version of Fuerza which is very exciting. Okay, so the last thing that Danielle commented on is that she directed episode 14 of the season and she confirmed that this episode is a big episode for Allegra. So once in a while, they always have these big episodes for specific characters and there haven't really been any in the past that I can recall to do with Allegra, but you had like the Chester episode recently that was very important and maybe this episode is gonna do a similar thing where we're gonna care more about Allegra because right now I would say she is like a C, D list team member of Team Flash because no one really cares about her. Like she's just a character that was introduced. You know, she has links to Iris and the journalism side. But on a hero standpoint, she hasn't been able to do much. We've explored some of her origin. However, we've never got that much. And I feel like she even like under Chester and probably along with Camilla hasn't really been explored so I think it's a good chance to get to know her in this episode so look forward to episode 14 this is Danielle Pennebaker's new directorial episode but that's about it for today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching remember later tonight the flash is back on also Supergirl is on so we're going to be having my reviews out for that straight after the episode's air but for now I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.